little over two years ago, I released something called Truly Handheld for Final Cut Pro. If you're like me, you really like free stuff. I also really like the handheld look for a lot of my films. This is the worst. I was very, very proud of that plugin. However, since that time, I have learned so much and I have been able to vastly improve this plugin. So today, I am so excited to announce that version 2.0 of my truly handheld plugin for Final Cut Pro is now available. And the very best part is that it is pay what you want. So if you wanna slap a big fat zero into the checkout box, you can download this plugin completely free of charge. Here I am in Final Cut Pro. Now there is a built-in handheld effect in Final Cut Pro and I am really not a fan of it. It's a randomly generated handheld effect so it's just moving this around with random numbers and that's not too bad but the big issue is right when you hit at 10 seconds you can see the loop point. So there it was right at that moment. It's very, very noticeable and always takes me out of a video. So that's what got me thinking, I wanna create a very natural handheld look. So I took real life footage, filmed it, motion tracked it, and brought that motion data back into Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and apply one of these. I'm gonna just use the 55 millimeter and all of these motion movements are based off of real lenses because I used real cameras to achieve this. I've applied the 55 millimeter handheld look and we can play through and you'll see that it's got a much more natural motion to this. And you'll notice that right at 10 seconds, it doesn't have that ugly loop that you see in the other handheld effect. In fact, the loop point is right at 30 seconds. You'll notice right at 30 seconds, it's a completely seamless loop. Now, even better with this is we have an edge mode. Currently, it's set to repeat. And you'll notice that there are no black edges. And when this effect is playing out, you'll see how the edges are repeated down here. And a lot of the time, people won't even notice that this effect has been applied. But if you want to, you can actually just select zoom to fit and it will zoom past. And then again, you will have no black edges or you can set it to none. If you don't mind having the black edges, maybe you've letterboxed your video and it's not really an issue. Then on top of that, you have the ability to adjust smoothing. So I'll go ahead and set this back to repeat. You'll notice how much smoother the animation is. It's a very, very subtle handheld motion, maybe adds a little bit more weight to your video. So you can get as refined with this as you like. Also, you can enable or disable rotation because there's always a little bit natural handheld rotation when somebody is filming from their shoulder, which I managed to keep in. But if you wanna disable that, you can do that right here. And finally, there is this flip motion direction. So you'll notice that this particular motion happens to kind of prefer to be a little bit lower down on the scene. Maybe you want to actually flip that so that it prefers higher up on the scene. So we can just select flip motion direction and you'll notice now that the camera is actually moving in the opposite direction of what it was originally doing. Also, there is an on-screen control that you can click and drag around to adjust the offset so that if you're getting a little bit too much of this repeated edge, you can just click and drag this upwards and it should no longer be a problem. So that is just one of the six different presets that I've created for you. But then on top of that, there's also the custom handheld. It's very similar to Final Cut Pro's original handheld effect. However, I have added infinitely more options for Final Cut Pro. So in here, we can actually drag up our amount sliders as much as we like. If we want it to get really crazy, we can also drag up the frequency. So if you want it to be a little bit more jittery, you can do just that. You can drag up your noisiness. So all of these have different variables on the actual handheld motion, and it's totally up to you how refined you want to get. You can also change the random seed. So if you want a totally different motion type, you can just keep changing these random seeds and you'll get a completely different look. But then it also comes with the added benefits of having an edge mode for repeat and it doesn't have that loop point right at 10 seconds. In fact, I made this effect over an hour long so that you'd never run into that loop point and I tried to make it as seamless as possible at the end of the animation so that if you happen to apply this to something that is an hour long, you won't even notice. So before this video is over, I have one quick effect that I wanna show you that you can achieve with this handheld effect. So if I go ahead and bring in an adjustment layer over this video clip, I'll go ahead and do the 85 millimeter look. So it's got a nice subtle handheld look to it, but what we could do is push Control T to bring in a title 
and I'll just drag this in underneath the adjustment layer. So now this title and background have the exact same handheld motion. It looks like it's motion tracked to the scene. But if I wanted to add a little bit of extra dimension to it, what I can do is actually copy this exact same handheld effect and paste it command shift V and we'll go ahead and paste it on to that title. So now this title is actually moving twice as much as the background and it's going to make it look super 3D. So I really like how this effect looks. I like to do this with graphics in my videos. I like to do it with titles. So it's totally up to you how creative you want to get with this, but we could go ahead and just type in something like subscribe and we could change it over just like so. And now you'll see how 3D that looks in the scene. So that is a look at truly handheld version 2.0. I am so excited to be giving this out to you guys. So make sure you hit up the links down below. And again, Again, it's pay what you want so you can put any amount. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful to you, consider pressing that like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see more free plugins just like this. With that being said, I cannot wait to see you in the next one.